So here we are. We're doing uh, it's okay. November 29th and we're squirrel hunting. Yeah, it's the last day of squirrel season here. We're gonna see if we can get it done, but we've seen a lot of squirrel and stuff, so we're gonna yeah. try to get it done with a bow too. Probably do a little catch and cook or something afterwards. Yep. The goal for today is to get at least three for a good catch and cook. Yep. See you then. All right. Oh, you got him. Yes. Did we get him? You you went right through him. Awesome. He's sitting right there. Let's go get him. Awesome. He's sitting right there. Let's go get him. Here, here. That was a pretty far shot too. Yeah, that's pretty good. Hey, I'm gonna treat you. And where'd my arrow go? Oh, you lost it, buddy. Not a bad squirrel. Yeah, it's pretty good. There's one down. All right, so we just got our first squirrel. We were just kind of walking in. We saw him, he just ran kind of right up this tree. So I just shot him and he plopped right down out of the tree. I was worried I missed him because he didn't move, but passed right through him, made a good shot. We'll see if we can get some more. Thing went flying out. That's like 50 yards. Yeah. Look at that blood. Look at squirrel. It's a kind of broadhead I'm using. I use one of the Spitfires. Yeah. All right. Well, let's, let's try to find some more. All right. So we just got our first squirrel today. Uh, the first spot we're just sitting out, we're scraping off the ground so we don't hear a lot of. Uh, yes. Leave yeah, so we're just gonna sit behind this tree, clear off some uh, brush and leaves and stuff so they don't make too much noise. But there's squirrels everywhere today. I don't think it'll be too big of a problem to get some more. Yep, that's for sure. There you go. Okay, so we shot him back there, and he went in this little shed. Well, I don't want to get it on the shed. He jumped out of the top, got in the tree. 
he was stumbling real bad, so I started shaking the tree and he started winging around it. Yeah, so I ran back and grabbed the pellet gun and finished him off. Pretty big squirrel, too. There we go. on the side of this tree, kind of facing at us. That was a pretty good shot. You ran up the tree a little ways, then after a little bit just plopped right out. But yeah, you guys probably don't want to see that. But yeah, you climbed up, plopped out after a couple of minutes. So we got three squirrels here. We're going to go clean them up. And yep, we got a clean those up probably got to do that off camera but after that we're gonna cook them up and see what we can do we'll see you there so here we got a squirrel meat we just got done skidding them and got them yeah we just got them all chunked up and stuff so uh, the plan is we're probably gonna fry them uh, yeah. that's probably about it so I guess we'll get to that all right, all right. So, all right so our first task is we're gonna get a little scoop of butter here. And then we're gonna put it in the pan. We can get it off. I'm just gonna butter the pan up. Yeah, we're just gonna get some butter. In there. As soon as the pan heats up, it'll go a little better. And then for seasonings, all we're gonna use is some great value seasoning salt and just some pepper just to see what it really tastes like yep all right so we're gonna turn up the heat a little bit start throwing these on i don't know how many is gonna fit on fit on here but they should cook pretty good all right so now that we got those on we're gonna Take some of our stuff. Let's kind of put them on. Got a little peppery. In. And then we'll put some more on when, we're, when we flip them. We're getting near the time when we're going to flip them. Yeah, they smell pretty good, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, we're probably going to flip them here in a second. So. Yep. Alright, so now we're going to. Just try to flip them all. They're not quite done on that side, but we'll just put them back over a little bit. But it's looking pretty good so far. Now we're gonna hit the other side with a little seasoning. Yep, just gonna use the same, just regular pepper and then some seasoning salt, and that should be about good. And let them cook for a little bit longer, and be about time. Yep. Okay, so now we're gonna make us a sauce to almost uh, apply over them. Yeah, it's going to be like a kind of barbecue and spicy. That's probably good for that one. We're looking for... Here you get that, I guess. Then some just baby rays. Mix it with this sauce right here. Roadkill slather sauce. Tastes pretty good. Yeah, get all, get all that out of there. And then for the hotness, we're just going to use Frank's Red Hot. Add a little bit. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god! That's that's spicy. That's spicy. All right, now I gotta dump some of the. God, what a waste! Wow, that's a lot. 
It's gonna be really spicy, I guess. I mean. <laughs> oh my god. Can't do anything, can you? <laughs> I guess not. Alright, so now I guess we're gonna stir it. Jake, can you do that? Here. Yeah. Okay, okay, smart one. No, the the sauce. Okay, we're cutting that bit. All right, so now that we got it all, we're just gonna <laughs> mix it. Wow, that's a lot of red hot. We need to have your mixture of barbecue sauce. Get a little taste, get a little taste, Jiggy. Stick your pinky in there, taste it. I don't think, I don't think we need to. Okay. Good? A little more red hot, even now. <laughs> so what do you want to add, is that good? I'm gonna add some more. Yeah, add that. The meat's going good, too. Probably about time to flip them again. Alright, Jake's gonna mix that and yeah. be a lot of time to eat. Alright, so we're done. We're gonna turn that off. Grab our squirrel bits. Throw them on here. This is just salt, or not salt, just seasoning salt and pepper. Plus, we're gonna use that sauce we made too. Mm. We've never had it like this, have you, Jake? Nope. Nope, never had it. But I think it'll be pretty good. So there's all that. All right, so that's what we got right there. Some squirrel, some sauce. What do you think of that? I think it looks great. We'll give it a taste test. All right, so we got our squirrel meat right here and our sauce. We have about three squirrels worth of meat, so I guess we probably ought to try it. Yep, so I guess, I don't know what I want. I guess I'll, well, you're taking a chunk. Yep. This is the squirrel backstrap, I guess, so I'm gonna dip it in a little bit of the sauce. Alright. Alright, three, two, two one. one. <laughs> Pretty good. It is, though. I mean, it tastes good. It doesn't really taste like anything, but what would you compare it to? Chicken. Basically, I mean, even just looking at it, it looks like a chicken leg or something, but overall pretty good. The sauce was pretty good too, didn't you think? Yeah, I like my sauce. Even though I messed it up a little, but it's pretty good. I'd do this just like this if you ever wanted to try it. You have it, but I think we're going to end this video here. Yeah. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. And see you next time. See ya.